Masterclass, in association with therugbysite.com. Hey fellow coaches, today we're going to look at a tack off 10. So we're going to put two back rows, our best ball carry is always off 10. And then we're going to have an outside option off 10. So what we're doing is creating a shape which we call a triangle off 10 that gives us potentially always three options and the fourth option being the 10 himself. The other point I'd really like you to concentrate on is just to watch the running line of the players. It's really important that the players when they catch the ball are catching the ball early. Their first step is as straight as possible to make the defender turn his shoulders. So we want the 10 to be making the appropriate decision. So if he's defender drifts, we want him to show and go. And we want to be watching the shoulders of the, the second and third defender to see where they go to pick the right option. So we're just going to add a fourth defender in here. And we want him to either turn his shoulders in or turn his shoulders out. And for the player outside the number 12 out here, he's got to be looking at that player's shoulders to see what he's doing. It's really important here that the forwards keep their own running line. You don't want them attacking the same space. So that's good work there, very good work. Took the short ball, the outside runner adjusted quickly, cleaned out straight over the head of the ball and would have created a quick ball in the game situation. Here you can see the ball carrier has three options. He has a short runner, he has the outside runner and this player here should just be up a little bit closer there and then he has another option there. You can see this defender now has turned his shoulders in so the actual play we should be playing is to the outside here but when you're looking at attack if you're only seeing this in the frame then it's not great attack because then this defender knows he can turn in. Now what you want to be doing is making this defender thinking of whether he's got to turn in or stay out. Here when he's turned in, we should be playing to the outside. I think all the time when you're playing your game of rugby, you've got to have a point of difference and ours is, is trying to be skillful. If, you're, if you've got a big physical side, then obviously you can smash the ball over the gain line. But if you haven't got a big physical side, then you've got to give your number 10 options to play with. And they've got to be options that hit the line, go through the line, and options that go outside the line.